worth getting a tech certification in 2025? I feel like it's pointless nowadays. I mean, I think in some circumstances it still is, but it's very specific to what you're looking to accomplish. There are a few different tips and tricks to really understanding if a certification will help you stand out or you're just wasting money. Yeah, okay, those are good points. Well, let's go back though. What was it like a few years ago even? Yeah, let's get into it. Hey friends, in today's video, we are going to be covering are tech certifications still worth it in 2025? I mean, there are mixed reviews on this. Some people saying they help them so much get jobs. Other people saying, well, they're, they go outdated so quickly and they're so expensive oftentimes. Is it really worth it? Or is experience more important? What you can show for what you are doing? But before we get to the answer as to are tech certifications still worth it this year going into 2025, we need to take a step back and look at why they were originally important. What made you stand out by taking a certificate? I mean, other than the obvious. The first reason is standardization. I mean, back in the day, having a certificate was a sign of standardization that you had a specific set of skills that you could adhere to. Why is this maybe not as relevant in today's world? Well, for one thing, skills and tech is changing faster than ever. And we'll dive more into that in a bit here. Another reason tech certifications became so popular was lack of formal education. I mean, in about 2018 to 2022, especially during the pandemic, I would say, tech was booming. They were hiring everyone and anyone it felt like. You could go work at Google, get a high six figure job. And while that's still possible today, they definitely, you know, it's the economy is not like it was back then. So have a lot of people, what they would do is switch in from a different field into tech. And in order to do so, to show they could do it, they would take a certification. They've already done university or college. They didn't want to go back for that. Then there's industry requirements, which is a whole different ball game or ballpark, if you will, meaning that some roles or companies require very specific requirements for you to be in that role. Now, a lot of these also too are with cybersecurity. And the last one is clear career paths. Taking certifications back in the day anyways, used to give you and your employer a sign of your career path. This is the path I'm on, this is what I'm currently learning and staying up to date, which in turn would often help with promotions and raises because sometimes you can get a promotion and not a raise, which is just painful. But here's really where this question stemmed from for me. In Takeoff, which if you don't know, I am the founder of, I linked it down below. This is kind of a selfish promotion of it, but not even intended to be. But when I was going through one of the videos that we are releasing, who was done, that was done by Amir, who is, he has his PhD, he's a founder and CEO of a major tech company, major AI tech company. This is what he said. I'll share with you a snippet he said about certifications. Yeah, on the topic of certifications, I don't believe in them because I think certifications were a valid way of assessing somebody's capabilities when things were very static. Like if I wanted to be a carpenter, there are a few ways to make a table. And if I work somewhere and I learn all the I'm completely out of my depth when talking about making tables, but you know, let's say there are 20 ways to make a table. If I go out and learn all those 20 ways to make a table and somebody says, here is a stamp, you're good at making tables, done. And if that doesn't change for the next 50 years, then that's great. That's a good representation of what I'm capable of doing. But think about software development. Think about literally any job today. The job description is literally changing year to year. Uh, the job descriptions, when I started my corporate job and when I left it, that was like literally a three year span, completely was different. Like when I started, these were the set of requirements. When I was leaving, this other thing was the set of requirements. So you can see it really got my mind turning as to, well, he has a really good point. Are tech certifications even worth it anymore? So let's start by looking at some of the pros that tech certifications still offer currently and moving forward. One is validation of skills. Well. That could be argued as well, but having a certification, especially on your resume when you are job hunting is a very valid way for if your resume is getting screened, especially by AI to start with, having those skills pop up versus not have taken that certification. But then the other side of that is you could still gain those skills through experience without the certification. So then it brings back this tug of war, this poll, if they are needed. So I'm gonna give you, I, I actually just set my computer down. I'm not gonna read my notes. I'm just gonna share with you my candid thoughts about this topic here. If I was, you know, looking to grow 
my career in the career path I currently am in or the role I'm currently in, say wanting to further progress as a developer, probably wouldn't take a certification. Now, the reason for this is because once you get to a certain point in your career, I would say, and the role you are in, it's more important to be building these skills through taking online courses, through learning on your own time, building projects, wh whether it comes with a certification or not. Now, here's the flip side. If you are someone who is looking to get into a very niche specific role, say a cybersecurity expert, cybersecurity engineer, there are certifications that employers look for, very specific ones they look for that you should be taking. So this is where I think the divide really lies. It used to be that taking any and every tech certification was something that was looked as a positive. The more certifications you have, it's a checklist, check, it's a box checked off. There we go. It's a box checked off. Nowadays, I think it's important to take a step back and have an understanding as to why you are taking that certification. Because if it is for a reason of you just want to learn a new skill or stand out even, in most cases, it might not even be worth it to take a new certification, especially if there's high cost involved. But if it's very specific, you have a very specific goal, very specific role, then there are cases where it is. At the end of the day, tech certifications aren't what they used to be because of how fast tech is moving. And I mean, even in that video clip I shared with you on Takeoff, where he is speaking about how back in the day, if you're looking to build a set of skills that don't change, it makes sense to take a certification. But if you are looking to build skills that will keep on evolving so quickly as we see tech doing now, it's more important to actually have that knowledge, understanding and continuing to evolve with it. Now, if going with certifications are your way of being able to do that, that's great. No one's telling you not to, but I definitely don't think nowadays, if you are looking to learn something online, you need to look for that certification check mark. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to let go of uh, that are looking for these courses because oftentimes we relate certifications with success. But the more and more we speak to founders, CEOs, employers, the more they're saying they just want someone who's actually knowledgeable, genuinely curious, has the actual skill set versus a piece of paper or digital paper. So I made a checklist of things to consider before you just enroll in a certification. Here are things that I would look for. One is industry demand. Research what certifications are most value in, valued in your specific field. And if you see a lot of your competition, meaning you know your peers, if you will, have certifications around that, then it might be something to consider. Another thing is around career goals. Make sure your career goals align with why you are taking this certification. Like I mentioned earlier, if it is very specific to your role, then yes, it totally makes sense. But if it is something because you want to add more skills to your resume or continue to learn something new, I wouldn't probably do it. And third is employer preferences. Now this really applies if you are someone who is already working for a company and looking to get a promotion or grow with the company. If they find, you know, kind of old school way of thinking that you checked off this box by having a certification, then do it. It's a requirement. You still are learning and it's probably the cost of the employer, not you. Another thing to consider is ensure if you do take a certification that it is balancing theory and practice, especially for technical hands-on courses. You don't want to get caught up in taking a certification that seems really great, but it's all theory and you're not building anything and vice versa, especially if it's for something that you it's required for you to be hands-on in and you're not doing that in the course kind of defeats the purpose. Theory is great and having that strong foundation is essential, but it can't be one or the other when you are looking to build different things. Okay. But then this brings up the next question you're going to probably ask me, which is tip. What are some alternatives to certifications? You're saying they don't matter in a lot of cases. What can I do to gain experience then? Here are a few really cool ways. One is micro credentials or digital badges. I mean, these oftentimes are more granular and specific to certain skills. So you're learning a micro badge. It will be quicker in time, very specific, and you're building a very specific skill. I'm repeating myself now. You know what I mean. Another great way is through open source contributions. This is a huge way. And this is something that employers will actively see when you are looking for a job. A third way is hackathons. Go out, meet people, hack with them. Even if you're not a developer, maybe you're a designer, product manager, there is something for you to do at a hackathon. Trust me, it's not just for developers. And this is a great way to network, expand your network, meet really cool people. And it oftentimes, if you're looking for a job, can lead to that through the people you meet. 
So as we've explored, tech certifications aren't as simple or black and white as they used to be. That yes, this is a great way for me to get a job, grow my career, there's a lot more to consider. And I honestly would encourage you, rather than just taking another certification, to, to go through some of the lists I just shared with you of alternatives to certifications, because a lot of those methods I shared with you require you to meet new people, get into the community, even if it's just virtually, which has so much more impact in your career, in your uh, skills, your network, everything long-term in my opinion. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very candid in the sense that seeing that video on takeoff, I really was prompted. I was thinking, this is so interesting and I totally agree with his take on it, but there are certain you know, circumstances where you do need a certification. It's just not as straightforward as it used to be. I'm curious to hear your take. Do you think tech certifications are still worth it in this year, 2025 and beyond? Leave in the comments. Oh, and hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, future tech, AI, you know, all the good stuff. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks everyone. <music>